hey guys welcome back to another video so today guys I'm going to sit down with you guys and talk to you about the most asked question I have done a video on this uh, in the past on this channel but it seems like uh, is either that video doesn't like get to people or or maybe I don't know I don't know what happens but this is the most asked questions from uh, my DM and here on YouTube people just keep asking me how to contact CGFNS and how to contact me and I thought I'll sit down and uh, talk to you guys about CGFNS in general and about uh, how you guys can contact CGFNS Some people think that uh, when I talk about CGFNS I can help them like uh, go around things or something but that's not the case. Uh, CGFNS has rules that governs it and it has uh, ways of contacting it and there is no way you can bypass somewhere to uh, fix your way into uh, just getting in touch with them or them helping you you have to follow the procedures the way they want you to so if you are new here and if you are new to my channel I talk about uh, nursing and especially for those nurses who want to relocate from the US from uh, their countries to the US as registered nurse, nurses that's what I talk about and if you don't know what CGFNS is, CGFNS, I'll put the, the, whole, uh, the whole name of what it stands for, but CGFNS is a body that certifies your papers. It certifies your documents from your country to ensure that your nursing uh, studies meet the requirements of uh, the U.S. nursing studies. So, for you to get certified as a nurse in, in the U.S., you first need to verify your documents. And the way you verify your documents is through CGFNS. And the documents that I'm talking about, because people ask me, what are these documents? The documents that you, uh, CGFNS requires from you is your high school certificate or diploma whichever way they call them in your country and your nursing degree or diploma from uh, your school where you studied whether the college or university and your license from uh, the licensing body that you sit you sat for your licensing exam in your country so they need the certificate from that body and your license from that body and your license must be a valid license by valid i mean that your license must not be expired it must be an active license so you must be in practice now once you send all those uh, requirements to CGFNS because that's what CGFNS requires from you and before you send that guys you need to create a profile uh, with CGFNS and I have a whole video on how to create a profile uh, with CGFNS if you guys want me to do another one maybe an updated one I can do that but I have a video that you'll see in the description box I'll, I'll add it there or you'll see it pop up uh, on the screen there is a whole video I've done about creating your CGFNS profile so just the same way that you create a Facebook profile you need to create a CGFNS profile with CGFNS now the difference with CGFNS and Facebook I'm just using Facebook as an example is for CGFNS you need to pay a uh, I think uh, $300, 300 and something 
dollars or close to 400 uh, USD for you to uh, to get access to whichever services they have so CGFNS one of their services is uh, verifying your documents and doing your visa screening so they'll do your visa screening and offer you a certificate and that's way after you've done your end clicks and all these things so now uh, after you've created your profile and you have paid is when now you will now submit your documents to CGFNS and by the documents I've said you are you are high school certificate or diploma your certificate from college or, or uh, university that you attended for nursing whether it's a diploma or degree they are both allowed and then uh, your nursing certificate from your nursing council or your board of nursing and your active uh, nursing license from your country those are the main things that CGFNS requires from you now come to the to uh, the most asked questions hoping that you understood what CGFNS does because this is a uh, the f among the first bodies that you'll encounter in your journey to become a US registered nurse they will need to know you first before they before you get to know other bodies that you'll work to and work with until you get to the US so having said that people ask me faith i have like a double entry on CGFNS some of them have misspelled names on CGFNS. Some of them have like had uh, wrong entries on CGFNS. So people ask me, how do I correct this? And to answer that, guys, there is no way you can, once you put in a wrong entry on your CGFNS uh, profile and you hit submit, that goes into CGFNS hands. So you can't undo that by yourself you have to to contact the cgfns so don't uh stress yourself trying to figure out how to correct an error that you made on your uh on your entries on the cgfns portal once you hit submit because you'll not be able to undo those errors now having said that you need to call cgfns you need to contact CGFNS to make sure that uh, they correct the error for you because you've already submitted and they don't allow you to make a, a like you can't make adjustments on certain things once you've submitted so you need to call them or email them to for them to correct things for you so how do you reach CGFNS? Now, there is only two ways that you can get in touch with, with CGFNS. And these two ways, they need patience. You can just, uh, you can call CGFNS and within one minute they pick your call. You can email CGFNS and within two minutes they've uh, replied to your mail. So. CGFNS has only two ways to contact it. The first way is to call CGFNS. I will add uh, the CGFNS number on the screen. And this CGFNS number is not something like, it's not hidden. It is on the CGFNS portal. Once you open your portal, your profile, when you hit contact us, you'll be seeing a uh, the screen uh, popping up as I'm speaking. So when you hit contact us on your dashboard, you hit contact us and then you will see ways of contacting CGFNS. So you'll either write to them or you will call them. Now their number is uh, displayed on their contact us uh, site and it is a uh, public knowledge once you have a profile with them even if you go to google i'm sure you'll get cgfns number now the issue with calling cgfns is if you are in a country that you use uh you like 
load up airtime before you can call someone just make sure that you have enough airtime so if you're in Kenya I'll recommend that you have at least a hundred bob to call CGFNS because they don't pick the call just immediately you need to be patient so load your airtime call and stay on the line I have called CGFNS and stayed on the line for almost one hour is when they picked my call and the good thing is when they pick your call and they can sort your issue they will sort it immediately because you are talking with that person and they have uh, your profile opened and they will see what you're talking about and if it's an error they'll correct it immediately now before you call cgfns the first thing i've said is you load your phone with airtime the second thing is make sure you have good internet con connection you don't want to call them and when they pick your call you can't hear them they can't hear you that will be a waste of time and you uh, you wasted your money because even if they've not picked your call just because you are calling them it cuts uh, like the airtime goes so just uh, make sure you have a good internet connection the, the other thing that you need to have your is your date of birth because they'll ask for your date of birth and your CGFNS ID have them if you don't have them in your head write them so that once they pick your call because that's the first thing they'll ask you they'll ask you your last name your cgfns id and your date of birth write them down so that when they ask you you give them and they'll be able to access your profile and they will help you now that is calling them another way of contacting cgfns is through emailing them so go to your dashboard your dashboard is uh, the page that has your picture on and on your dashboard there is a on top my messages so you'll hit my messages and once you hit my messages you will see a page that pops up and it there is contact us on top hit the contact us uh, button it will also give you an option of emailing cgfns cgfns does not have a direct email that you can just email them you must email them from their portal so on that part there there is a part a form that you'll fill you put your name date of birth cg i think the cgfns id is there you put your first and last name date of birth i think email address and all those things and they will ask you what are you wanting to contact with them them about so most of you people want to contact them about your cs report because uh, that's what that's the services that you're wanting from them so hit the cs report uh, uh, button put a tick in that and then after that there is a box that they provide when you scroll down you'll see a box that they provide you you can write something in it so type whatever you want here there if it's a double entry type uh, i have this and this uh, my name is misspelled or something like that put comments in that box and then if you have something like an evidence like a photo a pdf that you want to attach there is also a, an option optional provision for that you can attach it and then you hit submit now the issue with that is they will not respond to you immediately you have to give them some days but trust me they will respond the thing is don't put double entries once you submit just make sure you submit once you submit they will answer you don't submit some like the same request before they answer you so once you hit submit just relax and uh, take your time they will call you not really call you they will email you back 
or whichever the issue they will fix it but even if they fix it they will also email you back uh, that they've fixed it and immediately you email them you have an automatic email that says that they have uh, received this issue from you and it is case number something and they will s uh, like answer you an automated automated email and then later they will fix your issue so with the email email them once with the same issue don't put uh, several entries because if you put several entries they will take time like it will slow their uh, response to you so those are the two main ways of contacting cgfns i hope this video will be seen by uh, everyone who is having an issue contacting cgfns because there is no way uh, other way of reaching cgfns apart from from their profile apart from their portal so either call them or email them on their portal so those are the two major ways of uh, contacting cgfns another thing people ask me about from apart from contacting cgfns is uh, people ask me uh, i have paid my cgfns uh, fee uh, the application fee and then i'm not able to see like uh, those are uh, the forms that they usually give you to like uh, um, take to your school of nursing your nursing council and your high school uh, certificate and all that so the same way you go to my messages Go to, after you paid uh, your CGFNS, those are $300 or so, or $400 for your CGFNS. You need to, first of all, be patient because they, they usually don't just release the forms immediately. So it will take time. They may even take a week for the form to be uh, accessible by you. So still the same thing, go to my messages go to contact us and then don't click on the contact us uh, part but click on the correspondent part and then when you once you click there you'll be able to see all the communication that cgfns has been communicating back to you and if there is something to download you'll download from there if it's a form you'll download from there and then will be able to send it to your school of nursing to your uh, board of nursing fill it and then it will be sent back to you that's another common thing that uh, people ask me about uh, cgfns another thing that people ask me about cgfns is they ask me if they should send the forms by themselves and i've told you guys once and every time never never send cgfns forms by yourself that is by forms i'm meaning the forms that are coming from your school of nursing the forms that are coming from your uh, nursing council board or your license let them not come from you once you paid your cgfns application fee wait for the forms to be available on your cgfns portal go download the forms and send them straight to your school of nursing send them straight to your board of nursing they know what to do they will fill in which whatever part they want to they will prepare your own trans another transcript not the transcript that you have in your pocket they'll prepare another transcript and they themselves will send the form to cgfns if you decide to send them by yourself, that will not be accepted by CGFNS. CGFNS will not take anything that is coming from the applicant. They will take things, uh, they will take the form and your transcript from your school, they'll take your license from your board of nursing, they'll take your uh, board of nursing certificate from the board of nursing, not from you. So don't try to go to your university, 
pick your transcript and come and send it by yourself. CGFNS will not accept it, it will reject it and it will uh, push you back, you will have to redo the theme again. And with this process it is long enough, you don't want to do things that will delay you because it's tedious and you can get frustrated if you don't really know what you are doing. So. That's, uh, those are the most common questions or issues people have with CGFNS when they are starting. Okay, another thing, another most asked question is how do you reach me, you guys? Now, I'll start by saying this. My DM is hella full. I try to answer people as to my best of ability I also try to help people to my to the best of my ability sometimes I just can't keep up so if you DM me and I take time to respond just uh, just just be patient because I have work I have my life and I have you guys which are also part of my life so it takes time for me to respond and the best way to talk to me is through Instagram because I'm not really active in posting on Instagram but I'm really active like like passive active I'm usually on Instagram at least every day I go there to look for to look at people who inspire me I also just go there to pass time when I have a minute and I might, that's the place I'll, I'll really get into my inbox. Those people who have texted me on Facebook, you know, I might see your, your text a month later because I am not so big on Facebook as such. So, if you want to reach me, reach me on Instagram. I'll show my Instagram page here and i'll try my best to to answer your question some of your questions are usually so hard because uh, as much as i've gone through this process trust me things keep changing and i might not know any everything i might like uh, need time to research for you before i answer your question and if i can't I'll tell you, uh, really I don't know much about that, but those are the most common questions people ask me like, about CGFNS and about how to reach me. Otherwise guys, it was nice, nice chatting with you guys, uh, I'm going to upload this video. At the same time, I think a vlog will go up uh, as soon as possible. But I hope I opened your mind and opened your... Like, I helped uh, someone who was struggling, uh, reaching CGFNS or something like that. And yeah, I hope you learned something today. So I'm gonna stop here and wish you guys a good day or good night wherever you are and just be safe i'll see you guys in the next one bye